The Secret of the Golden Apples Once upon a time in ancient Greece, in the lush and vibrant garden of the Hesperides, there grew a tree that bore the most marvelous golden apples. These apples were said to grant immortality to anyone who ate them. The garden was guarded by three beautiful nymphs, known as the Hesperides, and a fierce dragon named Laden who had a hundred heads. In a small village not far from the garden lived a young girl named Calliope. She was known for her curiosity and her kind heart. Calliope loved listening to the tales of the golden apples and dreamed of seeing them one day. Her grandmother often told her, the golden apples are not just treasures, they are symbols of wisdom and kindness. One sunny morning, Calliope decided to set out on an adventure to find the garden of the Hesperides. She packed a small bag with bread, cheese, and a flask of water, and began her journey. Along the way, she met a wise old tortoise named Hermes, who offered to guide her. To find the golden apples, you must first show kindness and courage, Hermes said in a slow, wise voice. As they traveled, they encountered various challenges. They helped a bird with a broken wing, found water for a thirsty deer, and guided a lost lamb back to its flock. Each time Calliope showed kindness, Hermes's eyes twinkled with approval. Finally, after many days of travel, they reached the entrance of the Garden of the Hesperides. The garden was more beautiful than Calliope had ever imagined, with flowers of every color and trees laden with sparkling fruits. The air was filled with the sweet scent of blossoms, and a gentle breeze rustled the leaves. At the heart of the garden stood the golden apple tree, guarded by the three nymphs and the formidable dragon laden. As Calliope approached, the dragon roared and the nymphs watched cautiously. Calliope took a deep breath and stepped forward. I seek the wisdom of the golden apples, she said bravely. I have come to show kindness and learn from your wisdom. The nymph smiled and nodded, recognizing the purity of her heart. But Laden, still wary, hissed and barred her way. To prove her worth, Calliope sang a gentle lullaby, a song her grandmother used to sing. The melody was so soothing that Laden's many heads began to sway, and soon, the fierce dragon fell into a peaceful sleep. With Laden asleep, the nymphs approached Calliope. You have shown great courage and kindness, said Aegle, the eldest nymph. You are worthy of the golden apple. Calliope was handed a single golden apple. She didn't eat it for immortality but instead held it close, feeling its warmth and wisdom. The nymphs explained that the true magic of the golden apples was not in eating them but in understanding their message of kindness and wisdom. Calliope thanked the nymphs and returned to her village with the golden apple. She shared the lessons she had learned with everyone, teaching them the importance of kindness, courage, and wisdom. From that day on, Calliope was known as the wise girl of the village, and the story of her adventure with the golden apple was passed down through generations, inspiring many to seek the true treasures of life. The End